Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about something called pivot tables. Some of you may have worked on it and for those who have not, let me talk about the applications of pivot table before I get into the mechanism. Taking an example, let's say I have a company's data which talks about employee payroll data, date of joining, name of employees, their salaries, division that they work for within the company, their rating, rating 1 being good, rating 5 being bad, and the respective ages. Quite big data because there are more than 400 employees working for this particular company. Needless to say, all these are hypothetical data. Okay, now before I talk about pivot table, let me show you some sample MIS reports, which is there in the next sheet. Report number one that I would want to generate is, is the one which lists down all the division names, across them the total salary that is being paid out against each of these divisions, the average salary per employee and the headcount, how many people are working in each division. So in total there are 417 employees, but this is how they are distributed. This is report number one, division wise, total salary, average salary and headcount. Report number two, I would want to compare that across division, if the total salary payout is considered as 100%, what is the breakup? What is also the breakup in terms of headcount? So for example, almost one third of the organization is being employed by RAD division and a very small amount in the division RDD because I may want to compare, compared to the salary outflow, what is the headcount. So as you can see clearly, although RED employs almost one third of the entire organization's workforce, it draws out 50% of the entire salary. So quite understandably, the average salary is going to be amongst the top, which I can readily make out. Mm -hmm. You can see RED division's average salary amongst the top, above $300,000 per person. Let me go to report number three. Report number three talks about the division wise, rating wise, the headcount. How many people in division ED are getting rating one? Only five. So these are the questions that can be answered via report number three. Report number four. I want to know my organization from the point of view of the age group. That is how many of them are in the senior category, how many junior, how many middle aged. So across the divisions, across the different age pools, this is how the entire organization workforce looks like. So 417 employee in total, and this is how they are placed. So almost 37 out of 417 employees belong to the senior age category. Report number five, I can group the people into different salary pools. So amongst the entire organization workforce, there are few per people, workers, who are falling in this smaller salary pool in terms of number. So good part belonging to that category. And again, I can also compare them via rating. For example, if I am in the performance measurement mode, I would like to focus on those people who are getting high salaries and relatively lower rating. So in case they need any training, I can possibly focus on these few people out here. High salary, low rating. Last but not the least, one of the reports which can also exhibit year-wise, month-wise people joining in across the different division. So the company started in the month of November of 1966 and three people joined in, one in RAD and two in AD. So all these different reports that can be quickly generated with the help of something called pivot table. Let me go back to my initial data and from herein, I'll be talking about our main topic that is pivot table. All right, now to begin with, let me choose any cell from the data block. Let me press control A to choose the entire data block. Alternatively, I can start my selection from the first cell, press shift control, keeping it pressed, shift control right and keeping it one arrow key down to be able to select the entire data block. Now let me get inside the insert tab. Let me access pivot table within which let me choose the first option pivot table. Okay. 
Now the generic box that comes before my screen tells me whether the data that I have chosen is it correct in the entire array chosen. Please reconfirm it. Oh yes, it's correct. Let me press OK. Mm -hmm. Now what I get is the empty pivot table shell report, the grid, which will help us prepare those MIS reports that I was talking about. Now, some of you who would be working with 2003 version of Excel, you would notice that this option of tick on tick off didn't came through. So what I would do is I would simply check one of the setting on which will bring us back to 2003 version of Excel and after which I will also discuss what's there in 2007 version, what's new in 2007 version of Excel. So the setting that will give me best of both the worlds 2003 and 2007, let me activate that setting. By right clicking anywhere on the pivot table grid, I will be able to choose pivot table options within which let me access pivot tables display tab and let me check on the option which says classic pivot table layout classic refers to old 2003 format that enabled you to drag the fields from the right hand side field list to the left hand side shell report so let me press ok now as soon as I do that the layout the look completely changes now just one minute of theory before I go inside the practical application and the report generation what we notice now is there are three set of fields one row fields one column fields and one page fields but amongst them this part is not fields area it's called data items area now what is the speciality of the data items area in a very simplistic term all kinds of calculation be it sum max min average count any mathematical calculation will happen only in this large data items area i refer this as a main action area so to say so unofficially this main action area will exhibit all numbers now to prove it if i simply put the division now division consisted of all the names ad cdfd etc if i put that and throw that in the main action area what i get is the count of divisions basically the count of rows that were present in my master data does exhibit the number of employees let me check the division off now if I put the same division in the row fields notice I get the division name similarly if I check it off once again and I put the division name and column fields out here I get the same set but in a horizontal format so in short any mathematical calculation that is going to happen in the main action area so now let me begin with the report generation process now there are three ways to generate the report one you can simply turn these options on and see the output this is easy but at the same time uh, it would not give you much wider scope to customize the report as soon as you choose division it is not going to put that into the column fields it will choose the default one which is row fields now, if you want to customize the report you have the other two options what other two options let me talk about it one at a time option one you can simply select the field list from there you can choose any one of the parameters and manually drag and drop using the mouse in one of the fields area alternatively you can use the division option out here and put that under row labels now row label is nothing but just a mirror aspect of row fields so for example row fields is same as row labels column fields is same as column labels the values as you can see the sigma sign which denotes all mathematical calculation is this mirror reflection of the data items here and the fourth one report filter is something we'll be talking about a bit later called page fields so you can adopt any approach you can put division manually by drag and drop using row fields if you prefer the 2007 option then you can drag it in the row labels both will give you the same result all right now let me begin with the report generation process starting with the first sample report which talked about division wise salary sum of salary average salary and count head count so let me put division in the row fields now you might ask me why did I put that in the row fields why not in column fields both give me the names 
Now, as a matter of good practice, whenever you are having a data which is relatively longer in list, something like this, or maybe even much many more divisions, you put that vertically, just like the attendance sheet we used to make in our schools and colleges, that allowed us to give all the names in one single page. So let me put the division in the row fields which I have. Now, since I want calculation based on salary, let me put salary in the main action area. Notice if I put the salary in the row fields, I am not going to get the calculation. Instead, I am getting the list of salary. So let me check the salary off and rectify it and put that in the main action area. Perfect. So this tells me about sum of salary. Now you might tell me this is looking right. So what I may do is I may simply extend the column width. Mm -hmm. Now perhaps I would want to have a look at the average of salary. So this particular cell, let me highlight it, the one marked in yellow, let me double click on that. As soon as I do that, I get something called value field settings within which I am given the option to change the parameter to average. Result. Now the answer, average salary. Since there are four decimals, I may want to uh, summarize this. Choosing it, applying comma style, so two decimals. All right, now I have applied sum of salary, I have applied average of salary. Now if I want to look at the head count per division, once again, let me double click. Let me pick up the option count. Okay. So total 417 employees and this is how they are distributed. But hey, I wanted all the three in the same one page of printout. So what do I do? Now the trick is you put the same field parameter salary once again in the main action area. Pick it once and put it there once again in the main action area. So effectively I have put it thrice in the main action area. So now one is count, the second is sum, the third one if I want I can double click and make that as average. Okay. So this is how it looks. I have 41 employees in division AD. The sum of salary is 8 million and on an average per person gets $200,000 per year. Now if I want a quick list of all the people working for division AD, I can click on any one of the cell against AD in the main action area, double click rather. Let me double click on any one. In a new sheet, it generates the list of all the people who are working for division AD. And you can perfectly see it contains all data with respect to data joining, name, salary, division, rating and age. So let me go back to the previous sheet in which pivot table exists. So this was your report number one. You can change the sequence as you desire. So more reports in the subsequent videos based on the same file.